morning guys it's been a while since i've vlogged but today i'm on my way to york and thought i'd do a little bit um i might not talk much because i feel a bit weird vlogging in public but i'm taking my sister to see um a uni in york so i thought i'd visit the shambles while i'm there because it would be rude not to and i've never been and apparently that's where they based icon ellie on so that's where i'm gonna go hopefully i'll pick up some goodies and some nice photos so i will speak to you soon there she is, future uni student. Hi Flo. Hey. You're my vlog. No one died, we got here in one piece. We've stopped for a wee break and now we're gonna get the bus. So Flo, how do you feel about York St. John? York. Hello, where are we going? The shambles. And what's in the shambles? Um, Harry Potter stuff. This shop that must not be named. Oh, for God's sake. Muggles. We've arrived at the shambles. Oh, I'm a little bit excited. That must not be named. I'm a little bit excited.
So I came to York thinking there was only one Harry Potter shop and I've been in two so far and just found another one. Hello. Shots, 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 that but we're about to go and get some tea now and apparently this is the best place of Guy Fawkes so that's a bit interesting. Are you excited Flo? We give in and got a five guys. Hi guys, so I'm home from a day in York. Um, it wasn't as potterish as I kind of would have liked it to be, but that's a little bit selfish. We went to York so my sister Lauren, or Flo as I call her, um, so she could see, what's it called? York St John University. So that was just one of the many unis that she's gone to see. So we went there and I thought, Yep, yeah, I'm quite happy to take you because then I can go to the shambles because I've not actually been yet. We kind of got all the uni stuff out of the way and then had a wander around the shambles, which was really nice. It's so pretty. You can see how much Diagon Alley is influenced by the shambles. It's just it's so pretty. Like, they just don't make places like that anymore, do they? Um, so I didn't actually realise. I knew that they had, um, is it the Boy Wizard shop and the shop that must not be late? The shop that must not be named there um but i didn't realize how many other kind of harry potter themed shops there would be there's like um there's like a little it wasn't really a sweet shop it's all well, it's old sweets but it's all like hot chocolates and kind of potion drinks and stuff like that um and there's lots of kind of nerdy type shops that sold a lot of harry potter stuff as well as other kind of fandom things so it's a nice surprise really um, so I picked up a couple of things, um, I will show you. So the first bits I picked up were from the, that place that I just mentioned, the place that did the hot chocolates. So that was called the Potions Cauldron. We got a nice little bag. Um, to be honest with you, I thought kind of, when I saw these things, I thought more than having them for drinks, they'd look really cool in photos. So, and on my Harry Potter shelves. So they are... I'm going to turn them around. I'm going to open it, that'll be easier. So they are actual drinks that you can drink. So this one is Tears of a Wizard and it's cream soda. And it does that kind of shimmery thing. Um, you could buy these separately, but it's like £3 each or all four for £10 so I thought why not. So that one's Serpent's Venom Lemonade. We have Unicorn Essence which is Tropical Fruits flavour. And the last one which was kind of my favourite one is Basilisk Blood which is actually, oh it's mixed fruits. So I just thought they looked really cool. They had all sorts of stuff like that in that shop, it was really nice. Um, and there's like a little seating area where they had like a fireplace with cauldrons on the fireplace and things like that so you could go and have your um, hot chocolates and things. They sold all Harry Potter sweets as well in there which was really good because they're quite hard to come by the Harry Potter sweets. Um, so yeah, would recommend. The guy in there as well who, I, I don't know if he's a permanent guy in there but he's really nice. He played the part of a wizard very well. Um, then I went into the shop that must not be named. And I didn't go mad. I only bought a couple of things because it's likely that I'm going to go back. I might spend a weekend there at some point because there's just so much to explore. Like the cathedral and 
um just kind of all the little nooks and crannies of the whole of york is so pretty and just it needs to be explored um so just from that shop i got again just because they're gonna look so nice on my shelves and in photos and things like that i got tales to be dull about like hermione's copy in their films and i got dark arts defense basic for beginners so if you love umbridge this is a book for you i also got just a little badge it's a little tiny time turner imagine saying that fast 10 times little tiny time turner mm, yeah never mind um little diamantes on it doesn't spin which is fine but it's a carrot shop one i just thought that was really nice we did go in the boy wizard and that was cool but kind of once you've seen one shop of harry potter merch you've seen them all and surprisingly the shop that must not be named was cheaper than the boy wizard because i was going to pick up that in the boy wizard and i because i kind of saw it in the shop that must not be named i thought oh, i really like it but thought i'd save it for another day and then i went into the boy wizard and i, I thought oh i do actually really want it um picked it up and it was a it was a couple of pounds dearer and i'm a bit of a cheapskate so i was like i'm not gonna pay that when the shop down the road is a bit cheaper so i got it from the shop that must not be named that's not to say that the boy wizard shop isn't great because it really is um it, it did offer a couple of different things they both seem to sell um kind of the original jumpers that they have at the, at the studio tour um the shop that must not be named also had things like the chocolate frogs and the vertibots that are available at the studio tour which was pretty cool because i thought that the studio tour was the only place that you could get them um, so it's kind of nice to know that they're branching out a bit with those. I did have a really nice time. It is very busy there, um, as you'd expect, on a Saturday as well. So it was full of a lot of tourists, but I was happily waltzing around like a tourist in my own country. Um, as well, I suppose I was. I've never been to York before, so I was a tourist. Yeah, I would like to go back and I'd like to spend kind of a full day there, maybe spend the night and things like that. So that's definitely on the agenda. But I'm really glad that I've kind of ticked that one off my list anyway. Um, and I drove there, which is a big kind of... I'm a little bit proud of myself. Um, so I've not been driving that long. I've only been driving kind of not even a year. I passed my test years and years ago, but kind of just never went about getting a car. Um, and recently I started lending my dad's car because I don't have a massive interest in driving. It's just kind of one of those things if, if I can drive a little but I'm not really bothered um so I've not really ventured much kind of outside of my small town um I've been on the motorway once and that was kind of I got on the motorway and before I knew I was off so it wasn't really a big deal um but this was kind of purely motorway so it was it was over two hours it was over a two hour drive um from so i'm just outside liverpool all the way to york so it was a bit of an achievement i'm very tired i don't know how i made it home in one piece because i am exhausted but i did it so now i'm gonna have a nice hot bath and i'm gonna read um if you follow if you are i mean i imagine you are following me on instagram otherwise you probably wouldn't be here but i have been reading little women and it's so good i would highly recommend it um so yeah it's nice to be back i don't know when the next video will be i'm just kind of taking it each day as it comes i'm not going to force any videos or anything like that so just taking it easy if a video comes it comes if not there's always instagram for now um so yeah thanks for watching um you know the usual stuff subscribe if you haven't already give the video a like and comment down below let me know if you've been to york or if you're planning to go um if you've been give me some tips for next time i go because i'm sure i missed out a lot it was only kind of out and about in york for a few hours so i'm sure there's so much more to see um so yeah bye